guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable, inexpensive makeup from Walmart, drugstore, you name it. I'll test it in my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm doing this look inspired by the Ballerina Bright MUA from Instagram and this is a look that my patrons chose for me that's a monthly thing we got going on so I created this look inspired by a few of her looks and I'm gonna be doing this and we'll see where it goes so if you guys are interested then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all new videos upload. I upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. Do follow me on social media, all the links are below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. Let's get right into this fabulous tutorial, darlings. Alright, before we go on, I want to explain myself how I came up with this. So, the looks that have been chosen by my patrons are going to be somewhere here. So, I'm going to insert the pictures. So, of course, this is the Ballerina Bright MUA from Instagram and she got butterflies everywhere. If you know me from the years, years past, I've always been obsessed with butterflies. I've had butterflies necklaces, earrings, rings, all kinds of butterfly stuff. So she really is up my alley. So you see those two looks. So the two looks that were chosen by my patrons, that's the new monthly Patreon uh, perk or challenge you would name it. So I asked my patrons what they would like me to do for one video a month be it a tutorial or a certain color scheme or some look from Instagram. So that was a look from Instagram. And there are a few suggestions. So Missa and Teresa picked these two looks. Missa picked uh, the blue and pink and Teresa pink the, picked the kind of a turquoise and pink look. Uh, I like the blue and pink more to be honest, but I think most people voted for Teresa's option. Uh, I like more because more and more on a low eyelid and upper eyelid, obviously. I'm a drag queen at heart, like for sure. Anyway, so I put these two looks together and I looked for more inspiration on her Instagram page. So I came up with this. She's got some butterfly looks as well uh, with rainbows not just like it but you know rainbows and butterflies so when i saw like rainbows butterflies i mean i need to put rainbow and butterfly together and there you have it and of course there is lots of glitter it's like a rainbow unicorn and butterflies crapping rainbows <laughs> and vomiting with glitter <laughs> I don't know where it's going, but anyway. So, if you guys are interested, I got these beautiful butterflies. I'm not sure what the material is. It's kind of like a glass, almost like some kind of plastic. They're real hard texture, so you can reuse them. I think it's a real good buy. On Amazon, I paid $5.99 for them. I'm going to link them in the description box. Uh, there are 48 pieces here. Most of them match, so you can get a matching color, so I match them each eye. And a few of them don't match, so I'll have like the remains of unmatched butterflies, but the rest of them pretty much match matchy. And I use also some of these. And you can find stuff like that, I'm not gonna link it. You just type in uh, nail art on uh, AliExpress, and AliExpress got a bunch of these. And there is like these are butterflies and letters. I used a couple of small ones out of these. So some pretty, pretty butterflies. So I'm totally going to reuse this. I'm going to scrap them, I'm going to clean them, and I'm going to reuse them again. This is a real good value. And of course, of course, if you know why, of course, leave me a comment below. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, of course. I use kimchi shake palettes, three Juicy Nine palettes, Mango Tango, which is all colors of the rainbow. Very bright, very pigmented. Then Virgin Mojito, of course. I love this. You can tell I've been using this a lot. And the Juicy Velvet Juicy 9. Hi, Shangela. He's been doing this for the last hour. He's hungry. <laughs> so that's all the shimmers and really, really, really 
really shiny metallics. So all of these palettes, because I've been trying to use more kimchi because the makeup is amazing and I just forget how great these palettes are. I'm on a kimchi chic PR list. Now, I mean, I cannot believe this. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there was an Instagram um, and TikTok challenge and contest. You're supposed to recreate a kimchi look and post it on TikTok. So I posted it in the TikTok, in TikTok Instagram and I got on Kimchi Chic Squad. I cannot believe this. I'm like, these, these drag queen wannabe. <laughs> I'm so, so thankful. If anybody from Kimchi Chic Squad watching, thank you so much for putting me on the PR list on the squad. I love Kimchi. I love many drag queens. I love the art of drag. And of course, I have makeup already. That's why. I was like, yes, yes, this stuff is great. And the concealer, of course, the most concealer. <sighs> so that's what I use today. And you'll see me applying this pretty much in a rainbow formation, of course. And let's get right into this. So this is uh, my patrons chose my look, as I said in the beginning, probably. Just finished this eye, I mean, finished. Because the butterflies are not there, but they couldn't be there. And of course I end up with the rainbow. I took inspiration from that Ballerina Bright MUA. And there were two pictures I suggested that everybody liked. But I liked the pink and blue picture the best. But somehow I ended up with the rainbow. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> the usual happened. So now that I'm on the Kimchi Chick squad, I'm gonna use the kimchi chic. All of this chic palettes. I got the three juicy nines, so I used all of them. I cheated a little bit of the Alyssa Edwards black and white on there, but we're gonna start with the bad ones. I mean, I didn't know I was gonna do it, I just kind of started doing it, and I'm like, mm, I want this, mm, I want more. And the rainbow happened naturally. So I started with the all kind of brushes, all about the same size. This is Spectrum A12. I'm gonna go with the orange mango in the inner corner. Well, now that I know what to do, it's gonna be faster, hopefully. Because the other eye, I'm like, I'm not sure what I'm going with it. Then after the rainbow happened, I'm like, okay, we can work with this. <laughs> Dragon fruit. Kimchi pigmentation is out of this world. And I'm not just saying it because I won the contest and I'm on PR list. <laughs> I'm just saying it because it's true. You can watch my review. I'm gonna link my card somewhere here. So you can watch the previous review when I just got this. So next we got purple. So kimchi purple is this. It's a little bit warm tone so I want to make it cool tone you know what to do mix the two together purple and blue I'm gonna dip my brush into both tap tap see now we got your purple okay next is the real blue we're going to this beautiful sky blue next we're going with a teal dream just the same size brush I'm not gonna tell you what brushes I'm using because I have so many of them, they're all the same size. If you try to do something like this, and the space for the color, each color is about the same. So I'm using the same brush size, just different brands. So we've got the teal, and we got uh, sour apple. I'm just using just a brush for this. Just pat it on. All the colors blend easily. By the way, the blend here, I'm, I just realized there's gonna be a bunch of butterflies on top of this, so even if I stopped at blending, it still would look great. <laughs> because butterflies are gonna cover up all the mistakes here. And I'm just gonna dip this brush into yellow a little bit at the end. Just kind of add a little bit here. I don't know, when I do my base, it might change. We shall see. Going with the yellow, again, small brush. Most likely, I'm gonna put the yellow all the way in. To the middle so I might as well just do it now I put primer here kind of put want to put yellow all the way on my nose bridge 
and this is a great yellow. I'm using Peel Leaves Base paste, uh, mixed with concealer. Again, dry eyelids, I need concealer mixed. So add a little orange so we can blend the yellow easier. So I used um, Patrice concealer, the pot concealer. I like to use the pot concealer mixed with uh, a primer. It gives me a better creamy texture, I would say. Now I'm going into Sparkle. This is like an eyebrow brush, I think, or some kind of, yeah, brow brush perfusion. Because I have such little space left here, and I still want highlight. This is an amazing highlight. You know, I haven't reached into this palette, the, this one in particular, in a while. And I'm like, dang, those shimmers. They're like metallic, just one line and it's already bam in your face. I know they're gonna be butterflies, but still, I need that shimmer in there. All right, let me cut the crease and I'll be back and we'll do the rest of this. Now I'm using all this beautiful Juicy 9 metallics. This is Juicy 9 Juicy Velvet. And I'm gonna go pretty much on all of them. Again, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I'm gonna go to gold, kind of like back in one on top of the other until I achieved what I wanted and then I decided to do shimmery rainbow <laughs> because you know I'm the extra person back to the this one virgin mojito so I'm gonna go kind of like in yellowish greens here and I'm using the same brush because I'm an extra lazy hoe today I'm not washing anything I'm cleaning Shimmers are kind of easy to intermix and clean it off on the blend on the towel. I have towel on my lap, so just kind of clean it off and continue to the next one and to the next one. Now I'm continuing with the shimmers on the low eyelid. I decided to go with shimmers. It pretty much doesn't matter because my low eyelid is gonna be covered with butterflies as well. So this just kind of creates the base, so it doesn't really matter if it's shimmer or matte, I just wanted something really pop. Something to stand out, and now I'm going with matte. So I use Beauty Creations White Gel Liner in the waterline and a little below it, and it's in my eyeballs, the eyeshadow is. ABH, Alyssa Edwards White. You want to see my white? Look at that. I panned it. I mean, you know a drag queen when white is panned, <laughs> clearly. So now I'm using a little paintbrush, a little tiny, tiny liner. And we're gonna go for the white from Midas Cosmetics. Cake liner, and we're just gonna create the line here. And nothing very special, they're gonna be butterflies all over. Just to uh, cut the grease and make it a little more sharp. Now I'm using black from ABH palette, just an angle small brush from e.l.f. I don't know how many years I had it, I had it so long and it's still working. Okay, I think it's time to do the base and I'm gonna come back, we're gonna finish that look. So quite a bit of time has passed as you can tell, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff on my face. If you're curious what foundation I used. I've got it on my hair as well, I think. I used a new foundation from Catrice, the True Skin. And this is in the color, if I remember, 046 Neutral Toffee. And of course, I use Kimchi Concealer, like, duh, the most. And uh, for the lips, I used some lipstick I got from my Sheen haul. And the Sheen haul you're gonna find from last week. Just neutral with a little gloss on top. So, this happened. I emptied all of this and I put them on my table to match one and the other. A lot of them match exactly and some of them don't have a match, so I have a few of them lying around without a match. They're like random colors, but this actually worked out well. So, we're gonna start the application. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because the whole process is very tedious. So, it'll take a little bit. So I better do this off camera, but I'm gonna show you. Pretty much take the glue. I'm using cheap lash glue for this because, I mean, 
doesn't have to be anything fancy. So one goes here, make sure it matches. Just put a bunch of glue here. And I actually use my fingers because they're so big. You can use your fingers. So the orange one went here, see? Very simple. In some places I use tweezers, but most of them I use fingers. And next one is pink. Again, a lot of lash glue. If you recognize this, this is from Primark. I got this in Dublin with eyelashes. And next one is bright pink. I have this match, match. Let's see. And we're gonna continue. Ah! <laughs> Changing, surprise me. Baby, baby, do you want dinner? Are you done? Are you done with mama being makeup artist? Yep, he's done with me. Okay, let me finish this off camera because this is going to be just placing them pretty much. And I might show you in the fast forward and then I'm going to talk. So this is sort of the application and now I'm going to put some glitter in between because I felt like there should be a little more sparkle. Probably would have made sense to put glitter first, but you know, I wanted to see where it goes first. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay, the only bougie glitter I have, uh, heavy metal. This is in the color Grind. It's slightly pink, but it kind of matches everywhere. So that's the finished eye look. If you hear any noise, it's my cat asking for dinner. Baby. Come on. He's been trying to eat the butterflies. That's all I have left over. So I think this came in 40 pieces or came with 50 pieces. I don't remember quite, but... I'm kind of living for this. I put glitter all over because I needed more and more and more and more. Glitter, glitter, glitter. <laughs> I put uh, Urban Decay and some Perfusion uh, by the glitter gel. Just to, uh, yeah, my eyebrows accidentally picked up some glitter. <laughs> accidentally. So now we've got this a rainbow butterfly fantasy. So that's it. That's the final look. I had to put uh, my rhinestone huge earrings from Aliexpress because, you know, being extra as usual. Yeah, I really like this. I mean, it says nothing to do with the look that I actually picked or my patrons picked. I mean, it does have something to do, but of course, I put all kind of rainbow colors because this is my nature to put the rainbow colors on my eyeballs. So let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this look? Of course, the idea was uh, monthly my patrons gonna pick me a look to do or a theme or color, anything like that. So this is for the month of August. This is totally up my alley. So thank you for the suggestions. So the two looks were of course chosen by Missa and Teresa. That's my good Judy's, my friends. And I combined those two looks and I came up with a butterfly and rainbow. So again, comment below, let me know what you think and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uploaded three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. Like this video if you enjoyed it and follow me on social media, all the links are below. So huge thank you to all my patrons. We have Telegram chat, we have Facebook group, uh, the link to my Patreon group is down below. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!